Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm so excited for today's video. This is a lighter. I just wanted to show you guys because I think it's really cool. Sorry if that noise triggers you. Anyways, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Brenda and I make faith-based content and I post new videos every Monday. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel. And my goal for this channel is just to inspire you and encourage you to keep going in your faith walk and to keep believing God for the plan that he has for your life and keep dreaming big. And if you are not a follower of Christ, if this is new to you, then I just am so glad that you're watching this and I welcome you to my channel. And I just hope that my videos can speak to you. Jesus has changed my life and he has set me free and I didn't used to always have this life filled of faith and joy. I used to really be in the dark and struggling. So I just want you to know that transformation like this can happen for you as well. So if you didn't see from the title already, we're going to be talking about how to be more in tune with God. And there is a scripture that I'm going to be basing this off of. And I'm just going to be testifying to you guys some real life situations that have happened to me over the past years, over the past week, where God has just been really showing me these God winks. And I just feel that it's being put on my heart because I want to share with you guys that you can see God in everything. You can see God in the little things that people might not even notice or pick up on. And there's ways to just see that throughout your day, throughout your weeks, to just continually give you hope and confidence and to just let you know that God is near and to feel his nearness. So with that being said, I'm going to pull up the scripture that I am talking about currently. And this is like the key to really staying in tune with God. So I'm going to be reading from the book of Matthew and this is Jesus and the Beatitudes that he talked about on his Sermon on the Mount. So the Beatitudes are just honestly such a beautiful um, part of scripture to just read and meditate on and study. So I'm going to be reading from Matthew 5 verse 8 and I'm reading from the NLT version which is the New Living Translation and it says God blesses those whose hearts are pure for they will see God. So the pastor at my church was doing a message on the Beatitudes one day. He was doing a whole series on it actually and I remember one of the days he focused on the pure in heart and how they will see God and it just really gave me so much clarity and understanding about what it means to see God in the daily and what it means to have childlike faith and to just have a heart that's fixed on God and how that can really just help you to see things differently and um, I just want to share with you my experience with this and by the way I'm not saying that I am perfect at this and that I have a pure, pure heart and that like I'm whatever. I'm not trying to say that, but I know that from experience and through my prayer life and through circumstances happening that it's so true and that this verse is really true and you can just see it come to life. So I just want to um, share that with you guys and show you my experience. So I want to read a verse from a psalm and I'm just going to recommend this whole psalm to you guys. This is Psalm 86. It's just such a beautiful psalm to pray and that is a really powerful way that we can pray is praying God's word back to him because there's just there's so much power in it and the psalms are just full of heartfelt prayers that we can relate to our life and pray to god and i just really have seen a difference when i pray psalms to god so psalm 86 11 says teach me your ways O lord that i may live according to your truth grant me purity of heart so that i may honor you I went through a season where I just craved that so bad. I just was praying, God, please give me a pure, undivided heart fixed on you and the things above. And what that scripture means is 
I don't want to have a heart that's divided between you and the world and fleshly desires. I just want my heart to be solely fixed on you. Wanting to seek God and wanting to spend time with him and do his will and read his word and listening to the worship music. So with that prayer, I honestly saw such a huge difference and God really opened my eyes to see how when you have a pure heart, you can truly see God in everything, in the little things throughout the week. And I just want to share some examples with you guys. So I want to bring up this verse also. This is a verse that my pastor brought up during the sermon and I was like, that is such a good example. So this is Isaiah 55, 12. And it says, you will live in joy and peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song and the trees of the field will clap their hands. So when you have a pure heart and when you truly are just looking for God and everything um, and you're just putting him first and foremost in your mind, you can't help but see him in everything. So for example, like sometimes when you look at the trees and they're going crazy, it does look like they're clapping their hands. And that's like something that like, childlike faith gives you that you can see God in everything. So I'm just going to share some examples with you guys over the past week or so where God has just shown me his presence and his hand upon my life while it seems like it might be small things, but I've just been able to see it in a way where it gives me a lot of hope. So I just want to share a couple of little God winks with you guys that I've had. So I just want you to listen to what I'm saying and just have an open heart and open mind when you hear this because I know that people might think differently, but when you have your relationship with God, you, you don't want to limit how he speaks to you. God can speak to you in amazing ways and it's always important to use discernment and I highly recommend to ask God for wisdom and discernment and ask him to help you to see him in things and if it's not of him to just um, make that fall to the ground. So this was yesterday. I was getting ready for the day and the most random movie popped into my head that I haven't watched in a very long time and I just randomly thought about it and was like wow I haven't seen that movie in a while it's a good movie and then like I literally forgot about that and just like went about my day and then I came home after doing some errands and I went into the kitchen and my mom was watching the movie that I was that I thought about this morning that was the most random thing ever and I was like she was like isn't this a great movie and I was like, like I literally thought of this movie this morning for no reason. But obviously it was for a reason because in that moment I felt so much comfort knowing that God goes before me. And that is a scripture, it says you go before me, you lay your hand of blessing on my head. So I thought of that scripture when that whole thing happened and it just helped me to see God in my everyday life, that he's orchestrating my steps and that while I was getting ready that morning, not knowing what was gonna happen during my day, God knew and he was just giving me a little God wink like, hey, I go before you and I see you. I believe that God speaks to us through his creation. However, he wants to speak to his children as long as we know that it's from God and we take it with discernment and wisdom. I think that it's really cool and just important to not limit how God is speaking to you in your life. So I had went to a worship night the other night and a guy spoke about the Israelites and how God freed them from slavery and that he freed them and even though he freed them they were still afraid and they felt like they were enslaved because their enemies were all around them when they were about to walk across the sea that God was going to park. I just felt like God was speaking to me very clearly that like you're saved and I'm not just going to leave you here just to like let you down. I'm going to be with you and I'm going to guide you through this and I've already saved you. I've already rescued you. And I just kept on thinking about that like the whole week. Then I listened to a message. I had no idea what it was going to be about from the title. It didn't even sound like it was going to be about this. But she was talking about Moses and the Israelites. And this was within the same week. And I was like, and then 
I was sitting in my car and I like to sit in my car when I talk to God because I can just pray out loud and no one's gonna hear me and I could just like not care about like anyone else and I just feel very alone and very safe just me and God so I was at a spot and it was like after work one day I was really struggling that day I was just going through it and I was like God please just help like I couldn't even get like a prayer out honestly because I was just like I was just struggling um mentally and so I just remember like just like staring into the sky like not even knowing what to say and I see from the corner of my eye a beaver and it was so cute it was like the cutest beaver ever and it just started like running across the grass and I was like that's so cute and then I just like whatever kind of left it alone and then I was like still before God and then I look and I see it again just like scurrying and moving and with discernment I really did feel like God was putting that in my path for a reason and I was like a beaver that's so random so I decided to look it up so I was like you know what I feel like God is putting this beaver in my path for some reason so I'm just gonna look it up and like see if there's any like type of meaning or significance behind a beaver like it was super random and beavers are actually in Narnia and they were the characters that were leading them through and guiding them and Narnia if you don't know is a Christian based movie it's a really good movie I actually really want to watch it again soon because it's just so good but so like beavers were a main character in this like Christian movie Narnia which I totally like didn't put two and two together but I just thought that was pretty cool. But it says beaver are symbolic of guardian angels since they are forever trying to help the Pevensies by guiding them to safety and leading them through the snow. And then it also says at the end some critics also argue that the beavers are a representation of Moses. Do I think that God spoke to me through that situation? Absolutely. I think that when you seek God first and you truly ask for him to help you to see him in everything and to speak to you and you're just constantly seeking him and seeking his face, you're gonna see him. And when you ask for a pure heart and you just make that just your prayer, God's gonna do it and you're gonna be able to see him in just really amazing ways. So something that I hope you can take away from this video is to maybe just look at your schedule, look at your days, see if there's anything possible that you can take off or remove so that you can make more time for God. I know it's hard and I know that we have busy lives, some people a lot busier than others, different seasons that we're in. But I just think that it's really important to make sure that we make time to seek God and to seek his face because the more that we do that, the more time that we spend with him and his word, we're going to be able to see him so much and we're going to be able to go throughout our days just knowing and seeing God's hand upon our lives. So I just hope that that can encourage you. And this has been really helpful for me to be able to just stay in tune with God. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. My Instagram is called Let Freedom In. If you want to message me or if you have prayer requests and if you just want to talk to me about anything that's going on, I would like to talk to you and I want to be there for you. And if you want, you can leave a comment down below. Share some of your miracle stories, how you've seen God's hand upon your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you have an amazing and blessed and beautiful day.